Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a mostly big fragrance net haul. So I've got a couple of like one-off things that I picked up on Mercari that I'm just going to include in this so this will be kind of like my weekly haul. Uh, but most of this did come from fragrance net. So I've got a ton here because I got a little bit crazy with samples, <laughs> with carded samples this time. So I'm going to save those for the end because I know not everybody is into those. So I'll do all the full bottles first and then and we'll leave the carded samples for the end. Um, okay, I'm gonna jump right in. I picked up two full bottles of this, um, of these Boucheron fragrances because I had picked up a travel size of this one here. This is the Ombre de, uh, de Alexandri or D'Alexandri. And oh my gosh, you guys, I fell in love with this fragrance when I picked up the, um, the travel size because this is very, very similar to Hermes Ombre Nargile, which I adore that fragrance so, so much. And this is very similar. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful Amber. Um, Amber has become, even though Amber is kind of an amalgam of a whole bunch of different notes, uh, and the notes that go into Amber can vary, so it's hard to say that Amber is like one of my favorite notes, but it is. Amber fragrances are some of my favorite fragrances. Um, So like the Ombre Nargile, this smells like apple pie to me. It's, they're just beautiful. It's sweet spiced amber. And it's funny because it doesn't have apple in it, but somehow it ends up smelling kind of like apple pie. I adore this fragrance. These are a little bit pricey because these are the kind of like um, higher, you know, whatever kind of exclusive line for Boucheron. But, um, oh my gosh, it's so worth it. <clears throat> if you're looking for a good alternative to Ombre Nargile from Hermes, oh, this is a good one. And this bottle is stunning. It's very heavy. It's very weighted, thick glass, beautiful. The packaging is so gorgeous. Not that packaging ever matters to me when it comes to, like if I had to choose between packaging or a beautiful quality fragrance, I'm gonna choose what the actual liquid smells like. But this, oh my gosh, this bottle is just gorgeous. So Ombre d'Alexandre is tobacco, vanilla, benzoin, amber, labdanum, ambergris, and musk. It's beautiful. It's a stunning amber fragrance. I'm so happy to have a full bottle of this. So that is Boucheron Ombre d'Alexandre. And then I picked up another one because they got a whole bunch of these full bottles in of these Boucheron fragrances and I had to pick up this Iris one. This is Iris de Syracuse and this is a beautiful Iris fragrance. Um, it's a be I mean the color of the liquid. It's a beautiful, soft, powdery, makeup-y iris fragrance, but it's not sweet. It is light and soft. It's clean. It smells ugh, kind of old-fashioned and beautiful, um, but without smelling vintage. It's just a gorgeous fragrance. This does wear very, very close to the skin though. I sprayed this all over me this morning and then I went in um, and then I went over this with the Mask Milano Iris one because this kind of wore off. So this one is not going to be one that I can wear to work or anything. It's not going to get me through like a work day, but this is going to be one that like I can wear at home. I can reapply it every few hours and I'm just going to smell cozy and clean and beautiful all day. So Iris de Syracuse is, sorry, Syracuse is pepper, pear, mandarin orange, iris, heliotrope, jasmine, white musk, vanilla, and patchouli. 
it's beautiful if you're looking for a good amber fragrance um i think this was one of the least expensive ones in this line too i think this one was 102 dollars so um not too bad for a huge and these are really big bottles these are actually um 4.1 fluid ounce bottle so you get lots of perfume in here so anyways that is Boucheron Iris D Syracuse okay the next one this is one that I had told you guys I really wanted to pick up this is the Disney Princess Aurora one um, and somebody mentioned in my last video that they look just like juicy couture bottles and they really do I mean even down to the cap they look exact, like from here up, even with the charm and everything, they look exactly like a Juicy Couture bottle. But very, very cute. Um, this, I cannot find this anywhere. It's not on FragranceNet anymore. I can't find these fragrances on the Macy's website anymore. So I don't know what the notes are in this. The only two notes that I remember being in this are vanilla and ambergris. So, um... I think there are, so yeah, I can smell, I can smell the ambergris, I can smell vanilla, and I think, I don't know, maybe some berries on the top. I'm not sure. It's a pretty one. Um, I don't like it as much as the Ariel one. I think of the two, I like the Ariel one better. But it's still pretty, and this one was really nice on my skin. Um, these, in fact, I think these are nicer on the skin than they are in the bottle. Anyways, that is the Disney Princess Aurora Eau de Parfum. And that one was like $9 too, so, um, can't go wrong with $9 perfume. Okay, this next one is one that I've been wanting for a long time, and I finally just picked it up. Uh, so this is Chloe Nomad Absolute, sorry, Absolute de Parfum, and... I adore this. This gets really mixed reviews. Um, people either really, really love it or really, really don't. Like the original Chloe Nomad, um, people feel like it leans really masculine. That one, I don't know. I don't feel like it leans very masculine. I just, I think it's beautiful. And this one is the same. Now, the oak moss in this is very heavy and distinct. Yeah, there's a lot of oak moss in this, which I love. And this was beautiful on my skin. It really lives up to that absolute in its name. It smells, um, oh, it just smells rich and luxurious. It's so beautiful. So Chloe Nomad Absolute is Mirabelle Plum, Oak Moss, Devana, Sandalwood, and Musk. I adore this. These are not safe blind buys. Um, I wouldn't even say Nomad is a safe blind buy, but if you like Nomad, I think you would probably like this. Um, there is a little bit of a similarity there. But if you know you don't like oak moss, I would stay away. Um, this has a really beautiful earthiness to it. I just love this. It's stunning. It's very unique. It's very expensive smelling. I just love it. So that is Clomad. Clomad. Wow. Chloe Nomad Absolute Day Parfum. Okay, this next one, I have no idea what I have here. So... I got this, I picked this up off of eBay. I was looking for Love Chloe, I found this. I didn't even really think too much about it because it was such a good price, I just bought it. And it's not the EDP, which is the one that I'm looking for, which I did find a bottle of the EDP. I do, that one is on its way to me, so you'll see that one in the haul next week. But this, I think, is the Eau Floral. It doesn't say Eau Floral anywhere on it, but this is an EDT formulation, and I don't believe that there is an EDT for Love Chloe. But I do know that the Eau Floral is an EDT. But the e but the Love Chloe, sorry, but the Eau Floral is supposed to be in a pink bottle, and mine's not pink, as you can see. So I'm just really confused. Um, unless there is an EDT formulation, it's just not listed in the Fragrantica database. 
Um, I'm not sure, but this does say Eau de Toilette on the bottom, but it does not say Eau Floral anywhere. So I'm just really confused. If you guys know if they came out with an EDT formulation that's not the Eau Floral, definitely let me know. Um, but I couldn't find anything but the Eau Floral, so those are the notes that I wrote down. And the notes that I wrote down smell like, or yeah, the notes that I wrote down do match or do seem to match what I'm smelling. So, but I don't know, but this smells so good. So I'm glad that I have this and I'm glad that I have the, uh, the EDP on its way. Now all I need is the intense and my whole collection will be complete. Oh, this is beautiful though. So this is sweet pea, green tea leaves, woody notes, powdery notes, and musk. See, and I can smell those green tea leaves very, very prominently in this. So I'm pretty sure this is the Eau Floral because the notes seem to match up for me. I can definitely smell the green tea. There's a slight powderiness, not overly powdery, but slight. There's definitely musk in it. So it, I think it's the Eau Floral. I have a feeling it is. So anyways, that is Love Chloe, Eau de Toilette. I'm pretty sure it's Eau Floral. Ugh, it's beautiful though. Perfect for spring, perfect for spring. Okay, the next one I picked up is, um, actually, let me show you this before, cause I didn't put, or, this isn't a perfume, but I picked it up from Fragrance Net. This is Victoria's Secret Coconut Passion Noir. And I was hoping from the look of the bottle and from the name, I was hoping that this was gonna be like a beautiful, like warm coconut lotion. And it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's, um, it's a coconut lotion. It's pretty. I'll use it. It's nothing special. It's not particularly warm smelling. Um, I was hoping that it would smell kind of like my sage perfume, um, Onyx, which is, I'm pretty sure the best coconut fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. I'm buying a full bottle or I'm gonna buy a full rollerball of it very soon. I'll talk about that when I get to my Sage Lifestyle video, which will be coming up. But I was hoping that this would be a lotion that I could wear and I could layer the onyx over, which I probably still can, but I would hate for this to like ruin the onyx because the onyx is so beautiful and decadent. And like I said, the best coconut ever. Um, we'll see though. We'll see. This is Caramel Coconut Night Orchid and yeah, Caramel Coconut Night Orchid. So there's that. Okay, the next bottle that I picked up is uh, this, uh, this perfume from D Squared and this is called Potion. This is an Eau de Parfum. And this was a total blind buy. I had never smelled this before, but um, I really like this one. This, this has a vintage -y vibe to me. It's definitely got like a vintage vibe in a good way. So yeah, I am really digging this one. Um, Oh gosh, when it dries down, it's so beautiful. I can't wait to try this one on my skin. This is a warmer type fragrance. This is probably better suited for the cold weather. So I'm going to test this out next week when it gets cold again. Oh my gosh, I love this though. It's kind of vintagey, like I say, but in a really good way. So Potion is... Violet, blackberry, bergamot, rhubarb, rose, jasmine, lily of the valley, vanilla, white musk, musk, black amber, and patchouli. And this almost reminds me of, and it's definitely not like a dupe or anything, but it reminds me of my C Le Parfum. With the black, the C Le Parfum is a little bit, um, it's got less notes in it. It's like blackberry, um, amber, 
and this is, I'm sorry, that the Cila perfume I think has black currants and amber. This is blackberry, amber, vanilla. So it's got very similar notes and it smells quite similar. Like if you're one of those people that um, you've been looking for Cila perfume but you can't find it anywhere, um, this one is really inexpensive. It's not the same thing. There's definitely... There definitely are some differences, but it's close enough that I feel confident like saying that if you like that one, you would like this one. Beautiful. I mean, they're really quite similar. I adore, and this is like 12 bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. If you can't get your hands on C Le Parfum, this would be a good little alternative. Like I say, not the same thing, but similar. So anyways, that is D squared potion. Okay, you guys. <laughs> now let's move on to, I'm gonna show you all of the carded samples that I picked up. So many, <laughs> so many. So I'm gonna start with the first one that I am definitely going to pick up a full bottle of this. Not only is it affordable, but I had no idea that it smelled so amazing. This is Living Lalique from Lalique. And this is funny because uh, I had to go to Lowe's yesterday and this order came yesterday. So I was like, I had like four different perfumes on. And when I, the whole time I was at Lowe's, um, I kept getting a whiff of something that smelled so amazing and it was this one. So I was like, oh my gosh, I need Yes, I need this in my life. It's so pretty. It's not groundbreaking. There's nothing like, oh my gosh, but it is, <laughs> but it is, it's so good. So let me show you what this looks like so you can see. I'll try to include pictures of the full bottles of these. So there it is, Living La Lique, and this is Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Now, the only thing about this one is to my nose, this leans a little bit masculine. So if you're somebody that doesn't like anything that even remotely smells masculine, I don't think you would like this one because it definitely leans a little bit masculine. Oh my gosh, but it's so good. Oh, I have to have a full bottle of this. I will. You'll see a full bottle of this coming soon. So this is... Bergamot, nutmeg, black pepper, iris, tonka bean, vanilla, vetiver, sandalwood, and cashmere wood. I smell so much tonka bean in this. I smell the iris. The vanilla, the vetiver, the nutmeg, like you can smell it all. It's so, so beautiful. So yeah, I will be buying a full bottle of that one. So that is Living La Lique. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. Next we have a uh, Britney Spears fragrance, and this is called Britney Spears Sunset Fantasy. Um, anytime I can smell a new Britney Spears fragrance, I'm all about it because I typically really like Britney Spears fragrances. I have not smelled nearly enough of them and so yeah, when I saw that they had a, when I saw that they had a carded sample of one, I picked it up. I'm really glad I did. This is beautiful. This is very fruity. It's, you know, um, it's actually really, really nice. Nothing groundbreaking. It's a fruity celebrity fragrance, but it's so pretty. So this is Ruby Grapefruit, Italian Mandarin, Pink Lady Apple, Juicy Peach, Orange Blossom, Raspberry Leaves, Australian Sandalwood, Gilded Amber, and Steamed Milk Froth Accord. It's beautiful. Creamy, yummy. It's uh, very strong on the apple. And I love apple. So yeah, that is Britney Spears Sunset Fantasy. That's a really good one. Okay, and then this is what started this whole thing was all these Lardesan perfumer um, carded samples. They had a ton of these on there and 
Yeah, and I bought every single one that they had. So, uh, because Lardison is a line or a house that I've been interested in for a long time, but they're very expensive. But the thing is, it's like they are very expensive, but you can find it full bottles on FragranceNet and Fragrance X for really, really reasonable. But I do know that this house um, has a more, it has a more like traditional vintage um, like vibe about it. So I, not many of these, in my opinion, are safe blind buys. But anyway, so I've got a ton of them. This one is called Skin on Skin. Skin, skin on Skin. And this is Iris Suede Leather Saffron Whiskey Lavender and Rose. Um, I'm not a big fan of Iris, not Iris, I'm sorry, of leather or suede in fragrance. And this has a lot of both. Um, so this is not my favorite. But it's beautiful for what it is. I mean, oh my gosh, if you're into leather and, you know, leather or suede, I think you would really like it. It's definitely beautiful. It's uh, soft, powdery. It's really nice. It's just not my cup of tea. So anyways, that is Lardasan Skin on Skin. Let me show you, I'll show you. There's a picture of the actual bottle. Skin on Skin. The next one I picked up is one that I had been so curious about. This is called Baducata, 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 Baducata. Um, this one is Lime Mint Sugar Cane Tiare Flower Ylang Ylang Seawater Salt and Coconut. Oh my gosh, this one's beautiful. This has like a got almost a pepperiness to it. Um, oh wow, it's beautiful. This is one that I really need to test on my skin because it's got that salt in it. Is it, it does, yeah. Yeah, because it's got a salt note in it, it could go either way. Sometimes salt's really beautiful on me, sometimes it's really not beautiful on me, so. Oh my gosh, but this is so gorgeous lime like you get the really tart lime right away oh and I can smell the salt for sure this is beautiful I don't get I'm not getting mint and usually I do get a lot of like usually I'll pick up on mint right away I'm not getting a lot of mint but like I say, this is one that I'm really, really interested in testing on my skin. And if I liked it on my skin, I could see myself buying a full bottle of this because it is very, very unique. It's beautiful. It's fresh. It would be a stunning summer scent. So anyways, that is uh, Lardusan Badu, Baducata. Baducata. Next, we have Lardison Caligna, Caligna, and this one is Fig, Clary Sage, Mandarin Leaf Rose, Mastic or Lentisque, Jasmine, Violet, Pine Needles, Oak, and Ambroxan. Oak is another one of those notes that I usually don't love. Um, it's a hard one for me, so... Ooh, but this is a beautiful fragrance. This is really, uh, it's woody, but it's almost herbal smelling from that clary sage. Uh, this is another one I'll need to test. It's like aromatic smelling or aromatic smelling in like an herbal type way. It's fresh, it's green smelling. Oh, it's gorgeous. I definitely get the fig, but it's a green fig. <sighs> this is another one I need to test on my skin. Really, really beautiful. That one is called Caligna. Again, these are, um, these all lean kind of vintage in style. 
So if you know you don't like that type of fragrance, then I would probably stay away from this house just because um, in my experience with them, they definitely lean in that more kind of traditional smelling. They lean more traditional smelling, if that makes any sense. Okay. The next one we have is called Owned or Owned Sensual. And this one... Hmm... This is grapefruit, bergamot, ginger, juniper, saffron, black pepper, white pepper, cumin, cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, jazz, amber, natural musk, and oud. And this one I thought I was not going to like just because it's got a ton of pepper in it and oud. This actually, you guys, this smells like marijuana to me. <laughs> It really does. It smells like sticky green, like, yeah, like sticky green Mary Jane. It smells, it's very green smelling to my nose. It's slightly sweet. The pepper is there, but it's like not overwhel it, it's not an overwhelming or I should say it's not overwhelming the entire fragrance. I can't, this is one of those, I'm going to have to try this on my skin too. I can't decide if I really like it or not. It's very, very unique, a little bit strange. It's got a lot of notes in it. That grapefruit, the grapefruit and ginger are very prominent. It's really, really nice. I do like this. I just don't know that it's something that I would want to wear all the time. So that is called Owned or Owned Sensual. Really, really unique. Okay. The next one I have is called Haute Voltige. I think that's how you say that. Haute Voltige. Mm, this one is really interesting too. Um, so this is pomegranate, black pepper, juniper berries, red peony, balsam fir, oak moss, and woody notes. And pomegranate is hard for me. This is one that I probably would not even test on my skin because I think that this would um, induce a headache. And pomegranate tends to go very pissy on me. So yeah, this is not my favorite. Um, it smells even a little bit pissy and weird on the paper. So yeah, not my favorite. That is called Haute Voltige. Okay. Next, we have a Givenchy fragrance, and I've been dying to smell this for a long time. This is called Eau de Moiselle, and I've been wanting to smell this for quite a while, so I was excited when I saw they had a carded sample. Eau de Moiselle is Amalfi lemon, basil, tangerine, tincture of rose, ylang ylang, musk, ambrette, and tonka bean. This has got a weird sprayer on it, the... Yeah, this is, um, this reminds me of something from the 90s. It's definitely got like a 90s vibe. You definitely get like the citruses. It's beautiful. The, the citruses, um, a sweet rose. The basil in it is really pretty, but it's not, um, it's not super overpowering. It's not, you wouldn't even really detect basil in it, but I can because I love basil. So it's really pretty. Nothing groundbreaking. It reminds me of the 90s. If I came across a bottle on like Mercari or something, I would pick it up, but I wouldn't like, you know, seek it out. But it is very pretty, super safe, um, very 90s esque. So anyways, that is Givenchy Eau de Moiselle. Okay, 
Next, we have another Jennifer Aniston fragrance because now I want to smell her fragrances <laughs> because I enjoy the original one so much. This is called Near Dusk from Jennifer Aniston and this is actually a very pretty fragrance. So Near Dusk is coconut, sea notes, pink pepper, nectarine, jasmine, peony, orange blossom, musk, vanilla, white amber, and white woods. I get coconut immediately. Um, yeah, I get coconut immediately, but I wouldn't classify this as a coconut fragrance. It's got a lot of woods in it. And the vanilla is really, really nice in this one too. You definitely get like the freshness from the so-called C notes. It's a nice one. It's a really nice, easy breezy celebrity fragrance. I really like it. I really like the coconut in this because it's not like an overwhelming coconut. Um, this would be, I think, safe for people that don't like coconut. I think you could, you know, handle this. It's really pretty. It reminds me of summer. It does, it gives you like this whole, it's dusk after one of those very long, hot summer days and you smell like leftover suntan lotion and you just came from the beach and um, that's what you smell like. It kind of gives you those kind of vibes. So I really like it. Um, so that is Jennifer Aniston Near Dusk. Okay, next we have one that I have been wanting to smell for a while. This one kind of blew up recently. It was like the fragrance community, a ton of people in the fragrance community started talking about it all at the same time. This is another D squared fragrance and this is called Want. And I was really happy that I was able to find a carded sample of it so I didn't have to blind buy a bottle of it because this is a vanilla fragrance. So, and I, when I saw the color of the liquid and I knew it was a vanilla fragrance, I was sold. Um, but this gets very mixed reviews, so I'm glad that I was able to test it. I have tested this on my skin. Um, I don't know if I want a full bottle of it or not yet. It's... It is a yummy vanilla fragrance, but... Um, yeah, it is a really beautiful vanilla. Gosh, it's it reminds me of something that I have, though. I'm gonna have to see if I have something like this. If I do, I don't need this. If I don't, I think I need it. <laughs> Ginger, pink pepper, mandarin orange, heliotrope, damask rose, neroli, Madagascar vanilla, vanilla absolute, and woody notes. It reminds me so much of something, but I can't put my finger on it. I really, really like this though. It's a beautiful, slightly powdery, warm, cozy. Vanilla, you know what it smells like? I know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of Lolita Lampica, Lolita Land. That's exactly what it smells like, Lolita Land. But different enough from Lolita Land that I think I want a full bottle of this too. Because they're not like dupes of each other or anything. Lolita Land has a lot of peach in it. that gives that one a lot of sweetness. And this, does this have peach? I don't think it does. No, no peach in this. So yeah, really, really beautiful one. I'm glad I was able to pick up a carded sample of it and test it first. That is D squared want. Next is another one I've been wanting to smell this for so long. I love Anique Goutel fragrances, but they're quite pricey. Um, and I don't, I hate blind buying things that are so expensive. So anytime I can get a sample, I'm very happy. This is Eau de Hadrian. And I've been wanting to smell this one for a long time because I've heard really good things about it being a great summer scent. Um, and this is a beautiful citrus fragrance. This is, oh, it is beautiful. It's basically citrus notes and cedar. Um, I couldn't find like a note breakdown for it. Yeah, and all it really says is citrus fruit orchestrated with Sicilian lemon and nuanced with woody notes of cypress, not cedar, sorry, cypress. 
it's stunning. It's beautiful. It is super fresh, super citrusy, and slightly woody. Slightly green smelling too. Um, I could see people not liking this. I could see some people not liking this. It's got a slight furniture polish kind of vibe to it, but I love it. But I could see critics saying that it smelled like furniture polish. But I love this. I would buy a full bottle of it in a hot minute. So that is Anit Gutal Eau de Hadrian. Okay, next we have another Lardasan that I somehow missed with my other one. So we're coming back around to Lardasan. This is called Rappel Trois. And this one, I love the color of this liquid. It looks super warm. Uh, this is a beautiful floral. Okay, so uh, Rappel Trois is gin, Sichuan pepper, gardenia, incense, sandalwood, musk, and honey. And I love this. It smells, smells vintagey. Um, I thought I was going to hate it because I don't like pepper. Yeah, I usually do not like a Sichuan pepper note in fragrance, but this is beautiful. You can smell the gardenia, but it doesn't smell like gardenia, if that makes any sense. This smells like it has a green note in it. This is beautiful. Um, I think my little sample is enough. I think I would maybe want to wear this once a year or something. I don't think that I would want a full bottle of this, but it is gorgeous. I really love this one. Ugh, love it. So that is Lardasan uh, Rappel Trois. Okay. Two more. <laughs> Next we have Yope Miss Wild and this is one that I've just been curious about. Um, I'm always curious about these Yope fragrances that come out or Jupe, whatever. I, I'm pretty sure that they're pronounced Yope. Oh, this one is super juvenile smelling, but I don't even care. I would wear this in a hot minute. It just smells good. It's one of those fragrances that it's kind of generic smelling. There's nothing, you know, great about it, but it just smells good. It's like really simple. It's only three notes. This is pink pepper, vanilla, and rum. It's beautiful. It is, I mean, I don't know that beautiful is the word. It's yummy. It's yummy. That's the word. I mean, pink pepper, vanilla, and rum. It's yummy. I mean, you're just going to smell good in this. So anyways, that is Yop Miss Wild. With such a reflective card, it's like hard to focus. There we go. Yop Miss Wild. And last but not least, we have an Ajmal fragrance, and this is called Violet Musk. This is one of their more expensive fragrances, which is why I wanted to try this. I have never smelled any from, <clears throat> excuse me, from this line. So I was very keen to try this. Yeah, this is actually really, really nice. Um, it smells very Middle Eastern. It smells very clean. It's really, really beautiful. So Violet Musk is Lily of the Valley, Ylang Ylang, Rose Musk, Violet Amber, and more Musk. Slightly powdery, very clean smelling, lots of musk. It's beautiful. I love this. If I came across a full bottle for a good price, I would buy it. It just smells clean clean and powdery and violet. It smells like soap, honestly. It smells like a beautiful, expensive bar soap. I love this. I can't wait to test this one on my skin. So that is Ajmal Violet Musk. 
Okay, two more things and then we are done. I need to hurry because as always, my battery is about to die. So on Mercari, I picked up this little Lardison. I've been on a Lardison kick, like wanting to smell as many as I can. This is a Lardison Parfumer little miniature coffret. And these are the cutest little minis. A couple, well, one of them did leak, but not like a ton that it was like, you know, really sad or anything. But this comes with, so Mirror a Musk which I've been wanting to smell this one for a while. It's beautiful, it smells so good. Mm, I love it, but again, it's got that vintage vibe going on, so you have to kind of like a vintage type experience. Next is Timbuktu. This is a beautiful fragrance. Um, uh, beautiful, spicy yummy and then the third one is uh, La, La, La Chase Au Papillons and let me tell you what the notes are in the yeah so these are all EDT formulations okay here we go so this one La Chase, La Chasse, La Chase Au Papillons is Chasing Butterflies, a light, romantic, and tender fragrance. Bergamot, jasmine, orange blossom, tuberose, and lime blossom. It's really beautiful. Again, with that kind of vintage vibe. Uh, Mirror a Musk is a fresh and sensual perfume. A true fragrance icon. Blackcurrant, blackberry, bergamot, and musk. I tried this on my skin. It's a beautiful musk fragrance. It's got a lot of body to it. Um... And Timbuktu is inspired by the perfume rituals of Mali, West Africa. French sophistication meets the mystery of the Sahara. A wild and vibrant fragrance, woody and spicy, cardamom, benzoin, caro, carooned, papyrus, wood, and vetiver. It's beautiful. Mm, I love that. It's such a stunning fragrance. So that is a cute little Lardison mini little cuffret I picked up. I got it for a good price. And then last but not least, uh, she sent with that this little sample. It's called Blackbird by Olympic Orchids, which um, the perfumer for an owner of Olympic Orchids is um, the perfumer for one of the zoologist fragrances. I want to say Bat. I think she created Bat for a zoologist, so a beautiful perfumer. Um, so this one is, so Blackbird is uh, blackberry, balsam fir, cedar, elemi, hay, musk, amber, and I swear I smell oud in this. It may have oud, it may not have oud, but I think I smell a little bit of oud. It could just be the balsam fir though. The balsam fir is really, really pungent. I love it. I love balsam fir and the blackberry and the balsam fir together is just beautiful. Uh, so anyways, it's a really beautiful fragrance. It is called Blackbird from Olympic Orchids and the liquid is actually black too. Really, really cool. So anyways, guys, if you hung in there through this whole thing, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. I know this is a long one. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.